Hi guys, welcome back to Medico Pharma lecture once again. Today we are going to continue the second lecture on route of drug administration where we will discuss systemic route of drug administration. Kindly see our previous lecture for better understanding. Okay, so suppose this is a drug which is applied or introduced at the site of application. Site of application means where the drug is supposed to be applied, right? After that, drug will get absorbed to blood circulation by various mechanism which we are going to discuss in later lectures. So, once the drug reaches to blood circulation from the site of application, that is called drug absorption. Once the drug is absorbed, it will get distributed to various organ parts such as lungs, heart. In fact, it will go to heart first and from there it will get distributed to various other organs based on blood supply to them such as kidney, then muscle cells. Uh, it may be a smooth muscle cell or a skeletal muscle cell then collectively to other organs such as liver, a spleen, legs, hand, etc. Okay. It also get distributed to nervous system like brain, a spinal cord, neurons, etc. Okay. So, we can summarize that the drug will be distributed throughout the throughout the body based on blood supply to them okay or that organ right once they will reach to the target they will show their response in that organ hence we can say that drug will show their response generally away from the site of application so this is only for systemic root of drug administration right okay now we will define systemic root of drug administration as the root of drug administration in which the drug is absorbed to blood circulation and get distributed throughout body to show the biological response are collectively called as systemic root of drug administration okay right as for example, oral root, sublingual root, and buccal root, then rectal root, next cutaneous root, that is C U T A N E, yes, root, and inhalation. Okay. Now we will discuss about oral root. Okay. So Suppose this is a asymmetric diagram of GIT where let me draw the diagram first. Okay. Anyway, I am not good in diagrams. So, <laughs> okay. Suppose a drug is taken orally, then it will go to a stomach and get disintegrated and dissolved into molecular form from where it will get absorbed to portal circulation. I hope you know the hepatic portal circulation which is a small circulation in which the blood from a stomach, a small intestine, colon and upper part of rectum will go to liver instead of heart directly the unwanted and toxic material will be rejected or destroyed by liver okay so now coming back to our topic where the drug will be absorbed from GIT to the 
portal circulation and from portal circulation it will go to liver once it will reach to liver some portion of drug will be metabolized which is called as first pass metabolism as we have already discussed in previous lecture okay from there the drug will go to heart and from there it will get distributed to other organs okay drug movement in oral route has been shown for your better understanding okay so now we will define oral route as when a drug is taken through mouth and it travels through git from where it get absorbed into blood circulation then the root is called as oral root of drug administration now we'll mention note that solid and liquid doses forms are given through this root this root okay as for example tablets capsules powders pills elixir syrup suspensions emulsion etc now coming to advantages uh, it is most safe most common and convenient it is painless it is relatively cheap self administration can be done no sterilization is needed as the drug is going to face hydrochloric acid in the git more patient compliance now coming to disadvantages it has slow onset of action uh, it has slow absorption pattern it is not good for emergency cases and it is also not good for unpalatable drugs such as paraldehyde which is very very difficult to administer to the patient okay then uh, it may cause nausea and vomiting to some of the patient there will be no dose accuracy due to variable and unpredictable drug absorption pattern okay it is not for unconscious vomiting and uncooperative patients okay the next point is that first pass metabolism will destroy some of the drug okay next point is some of the drug are destroyed by gastric juice present in the stomach as for example insulin penicillin g etc now coming to sublingual and buccal route okay so when a drug is placed under tongue to dissolve and spread over buccal mucosa and uh, from there the drug will get absorbed into blood stream directly from mouth so here the drug will enter to the systemic circulation without passing full git this is called sublingual route of drug administration now coming to buccal route here the drug is placed between gums and cheeks 
okay so that it will get dissolved and absorbed into blood circulation directly from mouth without passing full GIT. This is called buccal route of drug administration which is slightly different than sublingual route. Okay. As we know that both sublingual and buccal drugs comes in tablet, film and syrup forms. As for example, nitroglycerin. Next one is isoprenaline. Next one is clonidine. Then nifedipine, etc. Now we will discuss why sublingual root or buccal root is required. Okay, so what are the criteria? So, whenever a drug is needed into circulation immediately or quickly, okay, the second situation is whenever there will be trouble in swallowing medicine. Next is when the drug is less absorbed from GIT and if the effect of drug would be decreased by digestion okay now coming to advantages they will show rapid absorption okay second point is fast onset of action then quick termination we can speed off when the drug is absorbed in required quantity it is self administered okay then no first pass metabolism as it will not travel through full GIT again there will be no destruction of drug by gastric juice it can be used in emergency cases like heart attack okay then the low dose is enough to show maximum response as no drug destruction will take place by first pass metabolism or gastric juice okay it is safe also now coming to disadvantages it is only highly lipid soluble drugs and non irritating drugs can be given then there will be irritation of oral mucosa it is not for unconscious or vomiting patient very few drugs are available in this form okay the next disadvantage is that it's not good for drugs that need to be processed slowly by system such as extended release formulations with this we came to the end of this session thanks for watching us kindly subscribe our channel and we will be coming soon with remaining part of systemic root of drug administration soon this week